Now joining us from Phuket, Thailand is Farah Benito. So Farah, I heard that online travel registration is no longer needed to uh, enter or leave the island. Hello Farah. Hello Alma, good afternoon. Good yes, afternoon. that is correct. And before we move on to our report, um, I am here at Three Monkeys Restaurant, a unique restaurant set in a jungle somewhere in Phuket Town. And uh, Moving on to our latest news here in Phuket today, according to the Phuket News, Phuket Provincial Police Deputy Commander Colonel Siri Kong has confirmed yesterday, 23rd of June, that people entering or leaving Phuket will no longer need to register their travel details on the gophuket.com online platform as the process has been suspended for now. Last June 15, Phuket Provincial Government submitted an official request with Ministry of Interior officials in Bangkok for provincial officials to be able to use gophuket.com after the emergency decree has been lifted. However, Phuket provincial government has now commanded the provincial police to cease enforcing the gophuket.com online as advised that they can just use Sky Channel web platform to register their travel details. Colonel Sermpan said that people still need to use the Python application or the web platform and has advised everyone that the use of the online registration may return in the future for crime prevention and for development of the smart city project. Meanwhile, Alma, the popular Lad Yai Walking Street Market in Talang Road, Phuket Town, oh. held every Sunday, will return on July 5. The announcement came earlier on June 22, confirming that the street market, which is popular to the local residents and visitors of the island, will be held at the time from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. The Lad Yai Walking Street Market was just one of the major mass gathering events across the island that were cancelled or postponed in March to help travel off the spread of the COVID-19. Also announced as cancelled at the time were the official Song Ken Thai New Year activities in Patong, along with the annual Phuket Bike Week event. The return of the market has been much welcomed with local residents while observing the new normal requirements and all visitors <laughs> having their temperature checked and providing alcohol gel to cleanse their hands before being allowed into the market area. All people entering the market are by filling out a registration attendance form. Phuket City Municipality urged people when entering the market to wear a face mask and to keep at least one meter distance from each other. The municipality also called the people to join the market in creating community economy together, but also uniting to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Back to you, Alma. Yes, yeah, so um, I know that uh, last June 22, just last June 22, other uh, entertainment areas, especially the nightlife uh, entertainment, have reopened. Uh, can you tell me and update me on uh, how the citizenry or the population, are they able to comply with the new normal requirements? Uh, yes, actually, Alma, police health officials here, if we get our constantly conducting series of inspection of night venues and other establishments. And in fact, last night at 8 p.m., officials have inspected three alcohol-serving venues operating under restaurant licenses. And I think all of these, I've heard in the news, all of these were found to be important to health guidelines. Officials have inspected them and have our social distancing and uh, body temperature were checked before they were allowed to enter the venue. Alma? All right. Thank you very much, Farah, for your updates there in Phuket. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you very much, Alma. Reporting from Phuket, Thailand, this is Farah Silata Pisco. Believe that you're first time.